will take the input fields you have specified, then execute a set of steps you have configured uh, to produce the final result. Now, what if you want to uh, send the result of a workflow run on MyPal elsewhere to further process it? For example, uh, with this podcast research workflow, I may want to uh, send the result to a spreadsheet of mine or other podcasting apps in my tool stack. Well, with post run webhook feature on MyPal, this is now possible. It's very simple. Essentially, when you configure a post run webhook for a, an AI workflow on MyPal, after each time the workflow completes, the result, it will send a request that contains all the basic information of the work of that workflow run. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what the what my pal uh, will send uh, in the request. So uh, the data would include a, a unique ID for each workflow run, the ID and title of the workflow in use, the input as well as the output of the workflow. Uh, to help you uh, get a better idea of this, let's try uh, set up a webhook with an automation platform. In this case, I will use Active Pieces, uh, which is an automation platform that allows you to build uh, business flows um, that uh, to integrate any of your apps together. Um, for this, I will set up a catch webhook uh, trigger uh, first. And uh, then uh, you can feel free to add further steps down here. For example, take the result of the webhook and add it into um, your CRM, your spreadsheet, or things like that. For now, let's just go with this um, cache webhook trigger. I will test uh, this um, webhook by uh, copy the test URL here and paste it onto this workflow in my pal. So, okay, the webhook URL is now saved. Now I can run uh, a ne this workflow uh, one time to see how, uh, how well it uh, sends the re requests to the webhook URL. So the, uh, this is a podcast guest research workflow. So let me provide some hypothetical um, out input. Guest persona, uh, AI engineer, Router. and the guest URL is a guest profile is this and target audience maybe uh, startup founders. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. So let's start this. Just like usual, this uh, workflow will take in the input and it will. Uh, re uh, generate the output based on my request. So that would be the uh, introduction script first, then uh, compile some insights about the guests, suggest some topics to discuss, and then uh, formulate uh, some questions that could be asked uh, during the uh, episode. Now that the result is co completed, you can also see that the post run web results has just been updated to successful, meaning uh, MyPal has already sent a request to this web URL. Now let's go back to Active PCs to uh, check this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the data uh, the, from the podcast research workflow run has been sent. And this is the sample data, as you can see. It will send the workflow ID, title, uh, run ID, uh, input, exactly uh, just like we have given, and the output of each step as well. Now, with all of this information uh, sent you to your webhook, uh, you, you can uh, like go creative with uh, whatever kind of automation you want to implement with MyPal. Now, uh, with an automation platform like ActivePieces or Zapier or Partly, you can connect MyPal to any of your uh, app in the, your tool stack to make MyPal deeply integrated into your workflow. Um, so I hope you enjoy this update from MyPal. 
uh, please try it out yourself and let us know what you think.